Chapter 111 Snatching My Credit 1. The reward this time was shocking. It could be seen that the Seven Blood Eyes upper echelons hated Night Dove to the core. Su Ching wasn't the only one who was tempted. At this moment, the eyes of everyone in Team 6 lit up. Some of them chuckled, while others licked their lips. There were even quite a few who revealed looks of desire in their eyes. To the disciples of the Seven Blood Eyes, the acquisition of cultivation resources determined everything for them. Normally, everyone would have to use all sorts of methods to capture wanted criminals to earn extra money. There weren't many opportunities for such large-scale operations. But now, everyone realized that once they completed this mission, they wouldn't be lacking in resources in the near future. Hence, everyone's breathing slowly quickened as they looked at their captain. Captain, when are we setting off? That's right, let's go. Hearing team members' anxious voice, the captain smiled and took a bite of the apple in his hand. He then took out a jade slip and distributed it to everyone. Our target isn't big. The two enemy leaders at the perfected check condensation realm must be ours. When we reach our destination later, we'll infiltrate and behead them. When we act, he'll deal with one of them first. As for the other one, once you see him, besiege him immediately. If you can kill him, kill him. If you can't, drag it out until I arrive. I hope that when this mission ends, all of you will still be alive. Now, let's go. The entire homicide department was instantly mobilized. From afar, one could see numerous figures rushing out of the homicide department's government office. Under the moonlight, heading toward various directions in the city. The speed was so fast and the killing intent was so intense that every single figure was like a thorny tentacle of the homicide department. As they continued to spread out, the entire homicide department was like an ancient giant beast that had awakened and was stretching its entire body. Its domineering pressure instantly erupted. This caused all the evil characters in the city to be horrifying. Each person can obtain 10 spirit stones if we kill the enemy leader. There are two enemy leaders, if they are killed by Team 6, each of us will gain at least 20 spirit coins. Su Ching was moving with the members of Team 6. As he sped forward, he muttered inwardly as anticipation appeared in his eyes. He quickly scanned through the jade slip distributed by the captain. It contained information about everyone in the stronghold. It was extremely comprehensive. The enemy's appearances and their specialty techniques were all recorded. It could be seen that the department had investigated Night Dove thoroughly during this period of time. As everyone neared their targets, they stopped talking as they followed their team captains. The speed was getting faster and faster and their killing intent boiled then intensify. In the darkness of the night, killing intent towered into the sky. The mobilization of the homicide department was completely out of the blue, causing everyone who saw them to feel their hearts pounding. Their eyes were filled with terror as they instantly hid. Those nosy betting booths and gambling dens also swiftly quieted down. The people inside were dumbfounded and immediately closed the main gate in fear. All the evil characters were clearly aware that since the homicide department had made such a move, it meant that tonight, the entire main city was going to bleed. Countless people would die tonight. It was as though lightning had streaked across the sky, wanting to dispel all the evil. In fact, many of the inns that did business at night also chose to close today. It was the same for Panquin Road. At this moment, Team 6 passed by Panquin Road. Su Ching watched as the old man from the inn quickly closed the gate. Their gazes met for a moment. He's afraid Su Ching narrowed his eyes and noticed the hint of weariness in the old man's eyes. He lowered his head and looked at the badge on his clothes. At least, tonight, the badge on his grey doused robe represented the dignity of the Seven Blood Eyes. No matter what faction it was, be it small gangs or big forces, they would have to lower their heads tonight and high. If they even made the slightest bit of interference, they would be instantly crushed. There is light and darkness everywhere, and it's the same here. Although the sect is allowing darkness to flourish in the main city, there are rules. 1. They can't lay their hands on commoners. 2. Outsiders who have reached foundation building can't kill our sect's check condensation cultivators. These are to raid lines, if they cross this boundary, they have to pay the price. The captain at the front calmly spoke. He then assigned tasks before continuing onwards. Su King's heart stirred. Although he had realized this earlier, he was now involved in it. 
After experiencing it personally, he had a deeper understanding of the domineeringness of the Seven Blood Eyes. He was following his team members. Their target was clear, an hour later. They saw their destination from afar. It was a manor. The bright moon hung high in the sky, and the land was pitch black. Although there were lights in the manor, in the darkness of the night, these lights flickered and seemed about to extinguish. Outside the manor, with the arrival of Team 6, a few disciples from the homicide department who were hiding in the dark immediately walked out. They were arranged by the department to be in charge of keeping an eye out. After cupping their fists to the captain, they quickly left. Follow the plan. The infiltration begins. A cold glint flashed in the captain's eyes as his body flashed into the manor. As for the members of Team 6, eight of them surrounded the manor and formed a blockade. The remaining dozen or so people then spread out and sneaked into the manor from various locations. Su Ching was among them, right now, he moved extremely fast with his back arch. From afar, the members of Team 6 looked like a gigantic hand that grabbed at the light. At the same time, the figures of a homicide department team appeared in the distance. The person leading in front was none other than the youth from the Murphic race. They were Earth Team 3, and they would be fighting together with Team 6 tonight.